Hello everybody, this is Enemy to here and today. They jump at me! They jump at me! Today I am back with another video. Now I know in my previous one I did say that I was gonna focus entirely on Gmod. I am still doing that, but it is gonna take more time. So till then I'm still gonna be making some content on the, the side here and there, but I am working on it. Trust me. So today I'm gonna be talking about the backstabber yet again. Are you shitting me? Yeah, I know. I honestly don't know how I'm still talking about this guy. I thought maybe my previous video would have ended off right there. And it is now confirmed by doing a little bit of research and uh, digging that the backstabber has a right hand man. A right hand knife man, if you will. I don't know what custom alias I'll give this one, but uh, I'll just call him the right hand man for now until I can come up with something very clever. Now, if you don't know the whole backstabbing saga yet, I'll explain it in short. He is a slimy little eel that got caught unsubscribing from my channel and unliking everything involving around my channel. And that is no joke. That is exactly what he did. I saw it with two of my own eyes and I decided to call him out for it. And then this is where the whole, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't notice bullshit comes in. And this time, I actually have receipts. This is what I got off of an old video that I've ended up privating. So here it is. Obviously, I'm gonna blur out the name and the profile picture because I do not want to give this shit stain the attention because I do not want anybody to stoop just as low as what he did. And then after that, I decided to make a video about the whole fiasco. And then the backstabber tried his second attempt by trying to be a yes man, try to get me the, you know, go back to his side so that way he can double cross me and I'm not falling for it this time and he knew that so then he stopped doing that and deleted everything with him involved and unliking all my shit again like a gaping asshole like a giant gaping anus and then the backstabbers third and hopefully last week attempt that I've known the live stream incident that happened I was just minding my own business, streaming as usual, you know, engaging with the chat, trying to, you know, do better as usual, until this slimy little eel, this snake, slithering out of nowhere, coming out of its hole from the abyss, is the backstabber, along with his alt accounts, or possibly his right hand man. Now since I know he isn't alone here, it's pretty clear. Now I really hate to make assumptions like that, but on to this point it's pretty clear, anything can go down. So fuck it, I don't care. Yeah, man, then after that, I've made a couple of videos talking about this guy, you know, explaining a little bit more about what happened. And then that's just pretty much about it. And now, here we are, explaining another person who I thought was a friend, but it's pretty clear now that everybody who I've encountered in that gulag are all just as the same as Midget McGuire and as the backstabber. Well, almost as the backstabber. In the end, they're all nothing more than a bunch of racist, slimy little snakes dipped in grease. And I can care less what any of their excuses are. They're all labeled as the same to me, and nothing's gonna change that. I honestly won't be surprised if the backstabber is somehow a racist piece of shit like the rest of them. Yep, I definitely won't be surprised at all. <laughs> Say what? And not only that, that would prove my point even more of how horrible this guy really is. And as for the right hand man, how do I know he's one with the backstabber? Now let me explain that. Honestly, it's simple. He is still friends with him. And how do I know he's still friends with him? It's simple as well. I looked up the trade history onto the backstabber's profile on Steam. And once I went to his Steam profile, <laughs> He's friends with him. I can care less what your reasoning is. The fact of the matter is, you're friends with him. And that's the end of it. And I just don't understand why. You do realize he's been talking shit behind your back one time, right? I guess might, I might as well explain this too. You know, there was this one time that me and the backstabber where we used to be friends. He had his own channel going on, and he was making some random film about some homeless man or something. I don't know. I honestly don't get the obsession of his with homeless man. I guess that's his fucked up kink. But hey, man, beggars can't be choosers, and so long if he isn't harming anybody, like, you know, <clears throat> stabbing people in the back, then that should be fine, I guess. So, I guess the right-hand man was supposed to join his, uh, his call or something to voice act, and I guess he didn't end up doing it. He ended up ghosting him pretty much. And then he ended up, you know, he was that mad. He was like, oh man, the right hand man's a fucking asshole. 
<laughs> and I was like, oh shit, wait. I thought he was, like, fucking around at first, but he was dead serious. Like, no, no, no. This, like, I made a specific date, and he didn't bother doing it. That guy's a fucking douchebag. This guy was talking mad shit about you at that one time. I remember that for a fact. I don't understand why you're friends with a traitor like that, especially with a backstabber talking shit behind your back. That is what I don't get most of all, but hey, if that's what you're into for relationships, that's what you're into. I can't judge. If you're that insecure and lack self-respect of yourself with that type of shit, then go right ahead. I'm just saying it's not my thing. If I find out that you've been talking mad shit about me behind my back, it's over between you and me. I'm cutting you the fuck off, and I want nothing to do with you. It's that simple. People who do that are complete fucking pussies. They have no balls at all. Unless, I would say the only right reason to do it is, you know for a fact that that person does it back at you. Like the backstabber, for instance. And I have every right to do that. And it doesn't make me a hypocrite. So don't even try to spin that shit. I don't know. I guess it's just a pet peeve of mine if you even call it that. Not only did the right-hand man still have contacts with the backstabber, but he also pulled a backstabber maneuver that caused the betrayal to happen in the first place. And it's pretty clear more and more by the way that I see it. He's an accomplice to his shit, and that's that. I don't need to warn him that I'm removing him and cutting him the fuck off. I bet he damn well knows. Jesus, man, this is like a never-ending backstabbing saga, like in a once-in-a-while thing. Next thing I thought I was done, here I am again with more exposure. Hopefully, this will be the final video of me talking about this guy. I really don't feel like talking more about this guy. I got better things to do with my time, like the Gmod zombie apocalypse. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this, you know, this tale of the backstabber. Uh, if you do, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Are you waiting to receive my limp penis? No!